I have I had this funny relationship with GIF generation actually since uh, GIF is very inefficient format for it is kind of video. It's like the worst. But at the same time, it's so easy to embed everywhere. So people just use it. It's like, yeah. So initially I thought it's like a, such a bad idea. It's like, it stands like in opposition to what the, the project was meant to be like lean, uh, tiny files with sharp rendering. And people started asking for and then we're like, gonna convert them to GIF. how can I convert it to MP4 <laughs> and, and stuff like that. So like, after like many, many people asked about it and tried various approaches, I thought, okay, uh, I, I can spend some time on that. So even though I, I always prefer, you know, the, the real thing, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the, the seeing in a player where you can, you know, uh, rewind, pause, etc. I I see like, like how, how it's useful. And I, yeah, and I still get asked like, how can I convert it to MP4? Really people want to create videos, which, you know, also I can understand because if we leave that uh, like tiny file size aside, uh, another nice thing that the Askinema recorder has is like the ease of recording. You are in your terminal and you think, oh, okay, I'm gonna record that. You just type Askinema rec and then it starts recording. You don't need to go anywhere else. You don't need to click outside of a terminal window. So it's convenient. And you can also like automate this. So you can, you can, for example, put a snippet in your uh, shell configuration file, which uh, will start recording every shell in every shell that you start, which is like when you open new tabs in your terminal emulator, every tab would be recorded automatically to a file somewhere, right? You can, you can do stuff like that. So the, the ease of recording, I think is what people like, even though some of them want to convert it to a video and probably some of them even uploaded this stuff to YouTube. That would be funny, but probably it happened. 